Hi teacher friends, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lauren. I'm the Canvas Queen. Where on this channel, I like to teach my educator friends how to use Canvas LMS. So today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create sections. Sections are a great tool for those educators that are in the midst of the hybrid model. So if you're teaching partially online and partially in the classroom, this is probably a great tool for you to incorporate into your course. So let me show you how to create one and then at the end we'll discuss ways in which you can incorporate this into your course. So we are in a mock course and we are going to go to settings to create sections. As you can see, normally the uh, course details would come up first, but I'm going to click sections and we are going to add a new section. So if you have, let's say, students that are completely online, they're not in um, your class, we can just say online students. Right, so that way we can section all of the students that are online. You'll see I already have um, my section, which is the course. And if you're if you're cross listed, you'll have multiple sections here. But I created a new section with online students that I can place whoever I want into that section. So now when I go to people, I can assign people to that section. So see here I have some pretend students here and we are going to go to the three dots, click the three dots, and then edit sections. So you'll see they're already assigned to this one section and all we're going to do is type in the name of that section. So I can click that and assign it to this student, click update, and now that student is also an online student. Let's also say that this student is one, so I'll click again, edit section, and online, it'll pop up. Now it is assigned there, click update, and then I'm just gonna leave it. So these other students down here, these two students, Darren and Margarita, they are not going to be in that group. So now if I assign any assignment, I can click online students and have them their due date be different. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here is a random assignment. And let's say, you know, I have students in the class and they have a specific due date, but then my students online uh, that I don't see in person, you know, in, the, in that hybrid model, I want them to have a different due date. So I'm going to click edit scroll down to the bottom of this assignment and instead of assigning this to everyone with a specific date I can now click online students so the only only the students in this section are going to have this specific due date so let's just make it you know for uh, Friday February 26th I take the due date I put the until date let's just make it the same and let's say that they can access it today, which is the 23rd of February. So then I will click save. It says, oh, you didn't assign the other section, right? So I'll just click continue. So now we can see right here, this assignment is only assigned to the online students. I can change that by going back into edit and adding the rest of my class. And we'll do everyone else. This is assigned, we'll do the 25th, so it's a little bit earlier, because we'll, let's just say we're doing it in class together, and it'll also have the available from today. All right, so now when I click save and I scroll down, you'll see we have two different sections. So everyone else in this course, it's due at this specific time or date. 
or the due date is over here. And these are then available from and until. And then the online students, they have a different due date. This is to help you for future projects, let's say, or to keep track of your in-class hybrid students and your online students. So I hope that this was helpful. So now that you've seen how you can create sections within your course, I want to encourage you to try it out. It's really handy, especially when you want to have different groups, let's say like your online group of students, your uh, in-class group of students, and you want to section them because they have different due dates. This is a great way to do that as well. So try it out and let me know in the comments below how it went. If you have any other questions, feel free to also leave a comment. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like if this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.